guys, Dino here, back for another video. Video, what's a video? It's like a beer video, I guess. Hey guys, Dino here, back for another beer video. I'm going to be doing a beer review, and then after this, I'll quickly show you my hops and how they're growing. Um, but today, I've got another wagon brewing um, beer from one of their kits that they've developed, and this is their London Ripper. Uh, so it's like an English style red IPA. Um, this isn't one I've brewed myself, this has been brewed by Alan's uh, aka Chubby from Shadow Beast Brewery and he kindly um, gave um, me a bottle to try. Uh, he said to try and drink it fairly soon because it's been in the keg for a while so yeah so looking forward to it. So it's, um, I don't know what the malts are but it's got, um, I believe it's got English um, style hops in there. I guess sort of lends us, you know, going from the name London Ripper, so it's an English style red IPA. So yeah, I'll get it into the sun just so you can maybe hopefully pick up the colour a bit better. Uh, there we go. So it's got a really nice deep sort of uh, red colour, very nice. It's come out of the fridge not long ago so there could be a bit of chill haze there as well. Um, but we'll get a nose on it. Ooh, picking up some real nice um, sort of sweet malts aroma off the top. Sort of like toffee, um, toffee and caramel. A little bit of like biscuit as well. And then, um, yeah, I'm not sure what the hops are, but yeah, there's some nice sort of, I guess, some earthiness from the English hops there. So we'll get a taste on it. Cheers, Alan, for the beer. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, on the on the taste, I'm not picking up too much in the way of the hops, um, and possibly they've just sort of um, faded away a bit with age. And I mean, with English hops, you're not going to get um, you know that in your face sort of hoppiness anyway. But um, really, getting some really nice sort of rich uh, malt flavour. Once again, that sort of caramel and toffee. That's really nice, Ellen. It makes a nice change, actually, to have a, a more malt-driven beer. Um, sometimes the hops can just take over the, you know, the pale ales and the IPAs if they're the American or New Zealand-style um, sort of citrus, uh, sort of tropical fruit sort of hops. Um, but that's nice. This, this beer really lets the malt sing through. I'm really enjoying that, Alan. That is great. That's a great beer. Really well made. Plenty of um, malt backbone there. So yeah, cheers, cheers for that. So what I'll do is while I'm walking and drinking, I will swing the camera around. Make sure put the beer down. I'll swing the camera around and we'll go and see what the hops are doing. So yeah, so these, uh, here's the hops, or hop plant, that was kindly sent to me by Grant Baker. So he had sent me a hop, um, a rhizome, um, and that sat in the, in the dirt there and didn't do anything. And then about four weeks ago it popped its little head up and a little bit of uh, green started showing. So yeah, this is basically four weeks of growth. So I'm just um, get a bit closer. So I'm just training it up the um, some twine here, and because I don't want to go straight up in the air, I haven't really got anywhere I want to sort of have the hops. I don't want them on the house. I read that you can actually try, you can grow them horizontally, but you have to train them along the horizontal. Um, so I guess this is, I think the terms are spallier. Like you think you can do it with um, like apple trees, etc. So yeah, so um, I read on Google that the hop plant actually likes to go clockwise in the northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere. So I actually started training it anti-clockwise, but 
would you believe it? It's actually decided it wants to go clockwise, so I don't know where the information was wrong or what, what the story is. So yeah, once it gets up to here and starts going along, it'll probably start growing upwards towards the sun, so I just need to keep going in a, um, in a clockwise motion. As, as you look down, it's sort of clockwise. So yeah, so I've got line going all the way down to um, the end of the lawn there, so that's probably a good 40 feet, I would think. So yeah, so that's I'm pretty happy with that for four weeks of growth. Um, and I've been fertilizing it with uh, seaweed um, fertilizer mixed in water. So yeah, happy days. So I don't know whether I'll get any cones because this is obviously the first year that it's um, grown at my house. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, I'll just flip the camera around guys. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, I'm going to sit down and enjoy the rest of this uh, lovely beer from Alan. So uh, catch you guys um, in the next video. Cheers, over and out.